Hi guys, uh, welcome to Piano Lessons with um, Gospel and Brian. Man, you know, as usual, I'm, I'm so happy, I'm so excited to be bringing this lesson your way. And today we'll be looking at tritones. Very, very, you know, uh, very, very interesting topic. All right, we're going to be looking at different ways of um, applying our tritones to, you know, our play. I'm also going to show you these places where you already have tritones inside. All right, so that you can be able to expand it, and then I also show you ways you can apply tritones to your play without sounding off. All right, tritones has a lot of beautiful applications, and you know, let's dive right into it. Um, and you know, towards the middle and the end, I'm also going to show you some advanced ways, and then um, we'll also be looking at some music theories. All right, for example, when you hear the word tritones, it's made up of two words try which means three and then tones all right what do we mean when you hear a tone or a full tone or a whole note in music actually means um the distance between two keys with a key in between all right while a semitone means the distance between two keys without a key in between whether it's a white or a black key so i'm going to be teaching on key c so the distance between c and d is a tone why? Because there is a note in between, which is the C sharp, all right? All right? So, if I say apply a tone distance from C, then leave C sharp and come here. If I'm playing on key C sharp, for example, if I apply a tone, it means leave a key in between. So, the next place, all right? So, you can see, one, two, all right? That's a tone, one, two, all right? Okay, so... So when why a semitone means the distance between two keys without a key in between them. So why this is a semitone? There's between C and C sharp is a semitone because there's no key between them. Between E and F is a semitone because there's no key between them. Well between E and F sharp is a tone because there is a key in between them. Alright? So it's the same thing. You can also call it a note. You know, sometimes you hear people say whole note, full tone tone distance they all mean the same thing all right so all right so if i have two tones from here to here is a tone apply another tone all right so you see between c and e is a is two tones all right that's also what we call the die tones so uh guys stay with me on this channel i'm still going to make um, a lesson to show you what the die tones how we apply them as passing chords and then how we use them to substitute for our chords beautiful concept and, um, if you've not subscribed subscribe and on your notification bell so that um you know anytime i post this particular topic or any other topic youtube is going to notify you all right so all right this is a tone from c to d is a tone from c to from c to e is a die tone why from c so from you see from E here to F sharp is another tone. So you can see all in all from C to our F sharp is a tritone. So tri stands for three. All right? Tritones, three tones. All right? So the good thing about tritones is that anyhow you play them, you still have a tritone. So if I decide to play my C here, all right, I'll still have a tritone. Okay? So this is a tritone. This is a tritone. All right? So you can see that the same thing. Apply walk it up, you know. That's what we mean by a tritone. Alright, we can walk it down. All 
All right, the tritone is beautiful because we can use it as the tritones, we can use tritones as chord substitutions, we can use our tritones as um, passing chords, and we can sandwich them in between our left hand chord and our right hand chord in such a way that it's, it's there but very, very concealed. All right, you know. Okay, so I'm going to show you all these um, different levels of application. Okay. So first of all, practice it on your right hand. Then on your left hand, practice the same thing. Alright, so see I want you to practice this on your right hand. After you practice it alone, just your right hand. Next thing I want you to practice it with your left hand and your right hand. Simply, when you hold this, this is on my right hand, I'm holding the B, uh, B flat or A sharp and then I'm holding my E. So A sharp and my E. And then on your left hand, you hold C. Alright? So practice working it up and down. C and then on my right hand, A sharp and then E. Alright? So even if you're a beginner, you should be able to apply this. Alright, so how great. How great is our God. Alright, so say with me, how great is our God. Alright, so next one, always sing, how great. Alright, so always sing. Alright, so what I did the first time is, alright, this passing chord, this um, tritone I did with the C. Alright, this one, walk it down. Work it down, then land on your A minor, all right? And then, when I want you to go from my A minor to my F, all right? From my sixth to my fourth, I did this. I can still do something. Oh, say how great. Did you see that? Did you see that? So, how great is our God. So, say with me, how great. Oh God. All right, then I did the always. So I did this always thing. Um, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. All right. So oh, always sing. Oh, great. Oh, great. It's oh, God. I know you can apply it is to uh, oh happy day. All right. Oh happy day. So oh happy day is simple. From your first to your fourth. Oh, happy day. Alright? So, see what I want you to do. Apply the right tone. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Alright, just, just, <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> Did you see that? So, this is it for the fourth. When I went to the fourth, so this. Oh, happy day. Remember, right? So on my left hand, I'm just holding F. And then on my right hand, I'm holding the tritone. All right? So you can see A and then D sharp. So, oh, happy day. So then I do something like this. Just the, you yeah, walk up. All right? So, guys go ahead to practice this if you're a beginner this will do you a lot of good you know with this you can do a lot of passing chords uh, all right with this you can do a lot all right guys we are taking it a notch higher tritones are usually coupled with a major chord all right so i can hold my triton on my left hand and then hold a major chord on my right hand so we're going to build on what we already have this time around, I'm going to take this tritone and play it on my left hand. That's this. Or this. Alright, I, I will suggest to play it like this. And then on your, play this Do, C major. Play it on your right hand. Play a chord of it. Alright, so this is it. So I'll hold my tritone on my left hand. 
then this is my C major, alright? Or this. Now, but for this class, alright, this is the way I use it. I'll be frank with you. I usually use, I'll play the first inversion of my C, alright? Alright? Alright, that's that. So this way, you can see your tritone is towards the left, alright? So that's that. Did you see that? Did you see that? On your left hand, E. And then A sharp on my right hand, E, E, G, and C. Alright? So practice working it down. Alright? So this, you can see this. My tritone on my left hand, and this is a major chord. The same thing as this, or this. So, alright? Practice working it down. Alright? Alright, you can see this. You can see this. Work it down. E flat. Um, this is this is A. This is alright. So you can see on the screen, see the chords there. Alright. Practice this. Alright. Then practice this. You see? You see, we use this a lot in uh, gospel music. Alright. Alright. Back to where we started from, all right. We can practice it going up, all right. All right, so practice it, keep on increasing the speed gradually. All right, all right. So, with this, we can apply it as a chord substitution or still as a passing chord, all right, guys. Uh, or maybe in another class, I'm going to show you a different type of. Tritones. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm going to show you this. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, you hear people do something. Uh, you hear, you hear. All right. You hear, you hear this a lot. All right. I'm going to break it down in another class. All right. So, but for now, back to where we are. All right. All right. So, it sounds like, oh. Holy, 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 holy. So, see so what I'm going to do between the, this. Is the Lord, God so, in between that, I'm going to apply the try to holy, holy. somebody say <laughs> so all right so we can apply this to I surrender all right all right so so instead of I surrender I surrender all. I surrender So in another class, I'm going to show you um, how we apply kind of try to and then these are all right. So uh, I'm going to show you this. All right. So um, that particular class will be coming up a um, few days from now. So all you need to do is so. Um, subscribe and then on the notification bell that way youtube is sure to notify you when we post that video